Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Let me finish up the story about who killed Demetrius. I left you off on he got killed at the Broadway. At the time he got killed, as I told y'all, he was wearing a Rolex worth a half a million. He had on a chain and he had on a bracelet and a ring which all totaled up to damn near a million dollars. And I often wonder, and $20,000 in the little tote bag, which he was carrying with the little two handles on it, to pay for the shopping excursion. So now my question was, I really wonder what did the niggas get paid that killed Demetrius? And the next question was, somebody said that somebody had been found guilty of killing Demetrius. To this day, I have never heard of anyone who was convicted of killing Demetrius Holloway. As I tell you all, the street side of the story was Clifford Jones killed him. And Clifford Jones, as I say to you all, was hanging on Mount Clair with Elijah Parker, which they feel Elijah Parker may have done it. But most people feel the hit came from, remember this, Demetrius didn't know Big Ed anything. Demetrius and Big Ed's beef started because Big Ed ran off with a half a million or a million dollars of his and Maserati Rick's money. And they was trying to kill Big Ed for that reason. They was not trying to kill Big Ed for any other reason than the money that he owed them. So always remember this. When you give a nigga credit, it could lead to your death. Because in the end, that's what I believe. I'm not sure. I can't say by fact. But I sort of think Big Ed won the hit game in the end. You understand? Because I believe the niggas that came in the Broadway and hit Demetrius was hired by Big Ed. No, I can't prove that. And the only person can say who actually hit Demetrius and ID'd it was the valet at the Broadway, the woman at the checkout counter who was checking him out. They killed him right in front of her. They killed him right in front of quite a few customers. So there's quite a few people who can ID who killed Demetrius. I don't know of anyone who has been found guilty of it. If you all do, tell me who got found guilty of killing Demetrius Holloway because I have never heard of anyone. As I said to y'all, I heard Clifford Jones killed him. But I told y'all I did time with one of Clifford Jones family little cousin members in the county and he swear to God, Clifford Jones did not kill Demetrius. I can't say who did because as I say to you all, Demetrius was beefing with four people I know. He was beefing with Big Ed. He was beefing with MGM Grand Casino. He was beefing with the best friends. You understand? And he was also beefing with uh, my man in Jackson. You understand? So Demetrius had plenty beefs. Like I say, World was the motherfucker in Jackson that Demetrius was beefing with. He was also beefing with World who was in Jackson. That's who he was beefing with which was in Jackson. Which, as I say to all of y'all, and you have to remember this, sometimes two niggas that's trying to kill each other will be cool with you, and there's nothing you can really do. They have to sell it as a man, and who win, wins. You understand? You have to understand at that point. So as I'm saying, he had so many beef, I can't really say who killed him. But like I say to you all, I can tell you who can. That valet can identify the man who killed him, who was that little old wrinkled up valet at the Broadway, can ID who killed Demetrius. The lady at the checkout counter who was counting up the money and checking him out, can ID who killed him. Several customers can ID who killed him. So, and as I say one more time, I have never heard of anyone being convicted of killing Demetrius. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, finishing up the story, and I'll say this. I believe the hit came from Big Ed, and I bet you Big Ed didn't pay no million dollars for him to get killed, which is what they'd have been better off cleaning Demetrius 
with everything he had on him than what they got paid for killing him. I guarantee you that. They'd have got paid taking his Rolex chain, bracelets, and rings off of him and the $20,000 in the bag he dropped after being killed. I guarantee that was worth more than what they got paid to kill him. And then here's a saying that they always say, the guys who killed him probably ain't worth 50 cents. You understand? All they probably is worth is pulling the trigger. That's it. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., real true street crime. Giving it to you real. I'm going to keep the stories coming. Hope you like them. Subscribe, share, and like. I appreciate anybody who takes the time to listen to my stories. I am very humbled by it. And I have to always say thank you very much because I truly appreciate that you take the time to listen to me. And as I always say, this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. Peace, love, and stay safe.